Hey everyone, welcome to Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy Veltry. Uh, wait, oh, both, <laughs> both are muted. No, is this one muted? No, it is not muted, I don't think. Okay, baby is not happy. All right, you guys, no, it says that I'm muted. No, I'm not. Okay, sorry, I'm all over the place. All right, you guys, hello. Welcome to Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy Veltry, and we are going to craft today. I sound really weird. Okay, let me try this again. Hi, this is Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy Veltry, and we are doing a live craft with me. We are going to upcycle this rooster. I had it on my website, and I'm like, ew, oh, it's greasy. I did not realize that at all. Hello, Marissa. Oh, yeah, you are pretty greasy. Now I'm like, I don't think we can. I feel like I'm going to have to soak this guy. All right. Good morning. Good morning. If you're hopping on and you ordered paint, have you got your paint yet? Oh, yeah, this is gross. Good thing. I started touching it so I could take it off the website and clean it. Ugh. Okay. Well, now I'm like, dang, this must have been in someone's kitchen for sure. All right. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board. I wanted something very easy. Hello. All right, you guys. Hold on. You're going to come with me. Sorry. Some of you. This was very um, last minute. I scheduled this. Good morning, you guys. Hello. Marissa, thank you. Look at you guys. You guys come like, you guys are savages. Hold on. Can I? Oh, that shuts it off. I was seeing if I could turn it around. But like, Look at that. You guys have like sold me out. Bobby C said my paint arrived really fast and I live in the middle of nowhere, North Carolina, and it takes forever to get stuff normally. Yay. So that is what you guys did to me, which I'm so grateful for. And we even, I, we just put in our next order yesterday. So hopefully we'll have paints here within the next couple of weeks. We are in this dungeon. I just have some stuff here that I've already like listed on the website and y'all head over to unicorndustdesigns.com because today is the last day for 15% off site-wide excluding salt wash and DIY paint. So all of my thrift hauls, my home up cycles, all of that stuff is going to be 15% off, but it ends tonight. Yay, Shelly. Thank you so much. Good morning, Tiffany. Sorry if I can't see you guys um, as you're coming in. We're going to go. So this is the shelf of thrift hauls to come okay which we're still organizing and then this is my personal stash you guys Ugh. that we're probably gonna have to shop at some point do you see all of this this is my personal stuff not stuff i've thrifted and i plan on selling this is stuff that i've thrifted that i'm like i'm gonna upcycle that one day yeah that that's <laughs> kind of embarrassing but um let's see and then you guys I want to let you know if you are somebody lighting is so bad out here that wants a larger order and let's say because I don't carry the 32 ounce cans because it's more money I have to put out and I just don't think that a lot of us do furniture good morning John did a good job picking I bought the brass oh we just wrapped the those. We need to package them today. I'll have to tell him that. Hi, Greedy. Good morning, Kathy. Um, so if you guys want like a larger order for more paints, I can do that and just create an invoice for you if I don't have the paints in stock. So keep that in mind. If you're somebody that like needs a lot and you're not seeing what like is on the website, then let me know and we can create an order for you. Uh, yeah, I try to be organized. So like we have like all the candlesticks, all the baskets and metals, all the glassware. And then these are all just like the bigger stuff. Good morning, Helen. So you guys, if you're just hopping on, I was going to paint a rooster 
and then realized that it was a greasy mess. So I'm coming out here to see what else, and I don't know how to flip this dang camera, or I would, but looks like the same with all my personal stuff. Um, I feel like I did, I mean, we did that like long thing. Yes, Rhonda, I fixed that. Unfortunately, so there's three people that added the zero dollar one to their cart. One of them um, responded to my emails and they got theirs. And then the other two, I've sent them three emails and they didn't respond. So unfortunately, I had to take them off the order and then write them a note. But I did have several people that emailed, emailed me about that. So thank you so much. Good morning, Denise. All right, you guys, I'm trying to figure out like what we want to do. I wanted to do something basic because I can't stay on for long. The baby's sick again. The poor girl cannot catch a break. Like, I think these will be fun to like paint and wax. But then um, I didn't have time, you guys, to shellac all this. And you guys know I have to shellac or else it just never fails. Okay, let's. Let's bring this over. I really wanted to use weathered wood and just like a dry brush to see how it looks. Let's see, we're like trying to dig. I have everything placed in here how it should be. Oh, look. Oh, no, we're not gonna get into all of that. Um, you know what, we'll do something really easy today. Okay, let's, let's just do this guy. And then maybe we'll have to come out here and pick some things. You guys can choose what I upcycle. Um, as we come a lot of it. All right, let's come back into the dungeon. So see, I have your brass horn right here, ready to, ready to be shipped. And we got paints ready to be shipped. Oh, Tinkerbell's stuck in the garage. And I do have weathered wood on stock. Weathered wood, I do have five of the eight ounce and then one of the 16 ounce. <laughs> you hear me going right in there. All right, back to here. This is our chicken, our rooster, but I'm gonna have to clean this baby up and take it off the website for now. I didn't realize, I guess just touching it like this, it doesn't feel greasy at all, but when you actually like touch the feathers, my mom is watching the baby. Okay. So this one, I don't feel the need to shellac at all. It doesn't, it's not wood. It's metal. It's a cute color, like on its own, but let's dry brush it. For those of you that maybe don't have wax and stuff, <clears throat> dry brushing is a great alternative. Are we like where we need to be right here? <clears throat> I like this angle because it's like, if it's something that you don't see straight up. So weathered wood is like a dark, dark gray with like a brown undertone. That's kind of, I don't know. Can you see like the brown in there? All right, so I am gonna use the lid. Now you're not supposed to double, like don't double dip your brush. Even though I do it, you don't do it, okay? Um, it's because these only have nine ingredients. So they have clay, porcelain clay, chalk, alcohol, ester as a binder, cellulose, pigments, and preservatives. So only nine ingredients, it says plus love. And there's no VOCs, so you can use it in the house, you can use it around your children. It is all safe. Weathered wood is one I was going to order. I really like weathered wood. Um, it was one that I had wanted for a really long time. I don't think this brush is necessary, but it is smooth. I did order the DIY brushes, so those will be here soon too. I've never tried fancy brushes like that. Um, but these brushes, if you are somebody... Um, that doesn't want to spend a lot on your brushes, then these, I had a three, it was a three pack on Amazon for $10 and they are really nice brushes. 
I do think, however, this is like way too big. I'm just going to go with my chippy brush. Yay, Denise. Yes, thank you guys so much for the orders. And I wanted to do a quick thank you too, because so many of you have done the send me a coffee to get me to California and the stars on Facebook. So thank you so much. And just know that like I have been reading all of the comments and I appreciate you guys sharing, you know, your personal stories a about loss and, um, you know, it really touches my heart and I just want you guys to know I appreciate it. Um, I can't respond back to every single one and seriously, just emotionally, I can't respond back to every single one because it just like, it's a lot. Um, cause it gets me all in my feelings, you know, but just if you are somebody who has just know that we appreciate it. And I really, really appreciate the words. All right. There's the base. This dries down so pretty. Now remember DIY paints. If you like this dark color of the like weathered wood, all you would need to do is apply top or sorry, big top to it and you'll get that dark color back. But if you like what it dries down to, which is what I like, then I'm going to use the clear wax because I like more of that matte lighter color of the weathered wood. Uh, Sammy, did you ever find out about the spammer the other night at Another creator here on YouTube said as soon as she put the DIY paint up for sale, she got hacked, but the company fixed it quickly. So nothing ever came of it. Nothing. I never received an email from YouTube. I never received anything on my actual like YouTube um, channel, like a notification or anything like that. Um, and it's funny because right after that the next day i got some like spam stuff on facebook saying that to like click this and that i violated something and it was not even a like meta it was really weird but so i got that twice one right after another and it was not youtube and i also contacted my youtube manager but I have not heard back from her, but as far as I know, I did not get anything saying that I was, um, got a strike for copyright issues. So thankfully it just sucks that there's people out there. Hi, Tracy. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you, Sammy, for having a live craft and chats and hugs to you on your loss. Losing your brother so hard. Thank you, Tracy. Hey, Lisa. Hello, Shelly. And yeah, I don't know. It was just so weird. Hi, Deborah. It was really weird. It's just a shame that like there are people out there that just want to ruin other people for what, you know? It's just sad. I really, really wanted to paint the rooster with this color really bad. This is going to dry down. It dries down and a lot lighter actually. I don't know. No, we we're gonna dry brush this. I was like, I don't know if I wanna wax this or what. This is just like a thin metal right here. John is out trying to mow the lawn. Hello, Edie. Hello, Carla, Maria. I said hi to Deborah, I believe. I am hungry. John didn't do his usual breakfast. Like, how rude. Don't feed your wife. Got to fend for myself this morning. No bacon. Rude. It baffles me that they work so hard scamming people. They should put that energy into making their own business, right? It's sad. That's why you never click any links. Lisa can't wait to use her paint. I can't wait for so many of you, especially those of you too that have never used the paint. It is literally going to be like a huge, it's going to change the game for crafting for you. Especially if you paint a lot of stuff, it is going to be a game changer. 
Some of those of you that ordered waxes for the first time, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're never going back. You are never going back. Yeah, I was excited to get some paints, but had to pay taxes. So now I have to wait for payday. Aw. Oh, the tax day. I really was born on the 15th. So she's a tax baby. Talk about paying taxes. As a creator, I have to put away like taxes from each paycheck and then um, at the end of the year, or I can pay them quarterly. It's like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. But I plan for it. So it's not like a, you know, it's not like a paper shock when it actually comes. Boy, are you guys on the ball? I received my order already. Need three more colors, but I've spent my crafting allowance for the month. I'm so glad that you got them. Did they come like nice, Deborah? Or was like the, the box beat up or anything like that. I tried my best. Again, this is my first time obviously selling paint. So I got some tips from Brie and just went with it. My husband didn't make me breakfast either. Denise, how rude are they? Jeez. Kim said that I do too. I got a cool mirror at the thrift store yesterday and no idea what color to go with. So many great choices. <sighs> Do you have like two, Shelly, maybe that you're like, mm, I'm thinking about these? Edie, I, you know, on Monday's project, you guys, not Monday's, Tuesday's project, I am going to show you guys how to create a faux salvaged wood look on some humongous bookends. And I didn't use dark and decrepit dust, but I used the milk pickens gray dust and, um, it's going to be like the same thing. I just didn't want it as dark as the dark and decrepit dust is. So you'll have to see that because it'll definitely give you some inspiration for sure. Your youngest was born on the 15th. Happy birthday to them. Helen, did you send me stars right now? Because I can't, I can't see it in the chat, but it shows your name and like nothing next to it. Happy birthday, Lisa. Very, not a thing wrong. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's not plugged in, but he did go to Whataburger for me. It's my birthday. Happy all these birthdays. That's so awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you for spending your special day with me, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Kristen. Maybe I need to give myself a raise. I like that. I filed an extension on taxes. Too scared to pull the band-aid off. <laughs> I'm the type, thank you for sprinkling. Yes, you guys, if you are on Facebook, if you can share the love and sprinkle this video, I would so greatly appreciate it. Good morning, Dee Dee. I got your gravy boat that you ordered packaged up. Ugh, bought the last one. We had um, Everly's birthday, Denise, it was yesterday. And she had a boy in her class have his birthday party the same day as her birthday. So she actually got to go to like main event for somebody else's birthday and then play there for two hours. Then we picked her up. Um, so in the morning she woke up and she got her new bike that we got from Wally World. It's so pretty. And she's been wanting, she still has like her little frozen bike from gosh, I don't know when she was four or something. So she got a new bike and then we opened like little like, you know, socks, uh, lip gloss, things like that. Then she went to main event. Then we came home and she helped me make her birthday cake. Please tell me if any of you have ever tried cherry chip cake. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you, Tiffany. I can't tell if those are stars, Tiffany. Who else? Just said that. I asked Helen if you're sending stars because it's blank. Thank you for sprinkling, ladies. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of peoples with the peoples with the name, and then it's showing like no kind of comment underneath it. Oh, thank you, Didi. I'm so excited. So, you, well, I'm like, wait, let me drive this and then that way I can hold it and kind of show you the difference between the dark and then how it drives down. 
Yes, cherry chip cake, I learned from, that's my favorite. We celebrated my niece's 40th birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. No, but we have black raspberry chocolate chip ice cream. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. Yes, they're stars. Okay, thank you so much for the stars. Since I'm on that, that stream yard, I can't actually see it. Okay, so this to show you is how it looks dried. Uh, is it? Hold on. So that's how it looks dried versus wet. So you can see, maybe it'll, it'll show better here. Do you see how much darker it looks while it's wet? I definitely on the website, I got cherry chip years for my daughter. She's now 50. Cherry chip cake is absolutely delicious it's hard to find in the stores but we started cherry chip because my husband's mom has made all of her kids cherry chip cake since forever and so now we've kind of started it with um our kids as well yes so connie it's really hard to find i'm usually able to find it at price chopper here in kansas but it is hard to find but everly helped me make her cake and we did like a blue frosting and then she got to open her presents that her grandma and grandpas sent her and her aunt sent her. So and when she went to bed, she was like, I had a really, really good day. So, um, and she always says thank you for everything. She's just, she's such a sweetheart. I'm so glad I get to call her my daughter. Uh, Denise said, but my mom used to make this boiled frosting to go on the cherry chip. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. So, uh, Didi asked, gosh, did, did you guys just, was it Didi? No. Who is this? Yeah. Deborah asked, which color is being purchased the most? Seriously? I don't know right now, Deborah, because they sold out so fast and there were colors that I was unsure of if they would sell. So I only grabbed like four of them. So those like flew off the shelf. But I think Apothecary is going to be the top seller for sure. That one, and I was surprised cake batter as well. Thank you for switching over. Oh, my gosh, Deborah, look up cherry chip. So good. Good morning, Tiffany. Yeah, Didi, she is always so appreciative and so thoughtful. They're so sweet. Everett was so sweet. Sweet. He came out of his room, and he they have piggy banks and stuff that they they keep track of. And he came out and tried to give her like fifty dollars, and we had to explain to him that like mom and dad help you with the birthday presents to buy sissy that you don't have to take your own money. And he got so upset because he wanted to do that for her. So we have some really sweet, thoughtful children. Coconut cake icing is a cooked icing tool. Oh. Uh, Rhonda, are you on like the business page or the like group page? Yes, it is a calm yellow. Hi, Sabrisha. Thank you for joining, girly. Hi, Jenny. What's up, girl? I do too. And keep, you guys, those jars, I'm going to show you on Tuesday's video because I'm right there with you. This is my jar of cake batter. It is worn and I filled it with water. And the same thing with Farm Fresh because right when it gets down to like that last when the clay starts thickening up on the top and the bottom. You can add a little water to it and then shake it, mix it, let it sit for like a day. And then you can kind of reactivate it or you can use it as like a watered down paint. And it is so pretty. I'm gonna show you that on Tuesday's video. Okay, so Rhonda, it's not the group page. It's gonna be a, uh, a business page. So if you look up Unicorn Desk Designs and how they have the tab, like group, page, whatever. What is in cherry chip? Kristen, I don't know. It's just, it's like a pink cake and then it has 
little like red flakes in it, like little red dots in it. I, I don't know. Thank you, Jackie. Sammy, what color is this? Think about painting the low kitchen cabinets, some type of gray. This is weathered wood. So it's like a dark gray with a brown undertone. Would you call that taupe or no? Is it, I guess taupe is a lighter brown, isn't it? <laughs> Lisa said, I just saw that Amazon has cherry chip cake mix. Love cake batter, Leanne said, hi, Leanne. Only have used Farm Fresh once. Oh my gosh, that's shocking. Farm Fresh is a really popular color too. That was my favorite. I think that's the first, that's the first thing of paint that like I actually ran out of. I'm so excited, Jenny. I'm actually shocked that like a lot of you, it said four days. Well, we know how shipping is. Cause I was like, I paid for, well, you guys paid for, but I always choose like two to three day shipping. So I don't know why it's taking so, well, I guess the weekend people have to have a day off. Of course, of course. Okay. Taupe has some pink in it. All right. Okay. Sorry. All right. So whether what is done and then I'm going to dry brush this. I like it this light color. I don't think, do you guys want big top on it? to darken it back up or are you dig in the lighter okay, so I feel like this lighting kind of changes it because doesn't it look darker when you're looking like straight down on it and then when it's in the light it's more this color the this color not as light and bright good morning Kathy Yeah, just dry brush, white wax. I was going to dry brush, Deborah, just for those of you that don't have white wax and need an alternative to white waxing. Um, yay, Rhonda, thank you. Okay, now what white do I want to use? We have vintage linen, b-board. I want to do, you guys, I need to, I'm going to make the time that on the website, when you go to look at like a white, I need to do like a piece of wood and then put all the whites next to each other so you can really see the difference of each white. Cause when you look at them, they all look like pretty similar. You know what I'm saying? Like you hold them up next to each other and you're like, uh, what? They all look the same, but they're all a little different. Like white swan is pure white. Um, beadboard has like a little bit of a gray undertone. So does vintage linen. These are very similar. Vintage linen kind of is a little creamier looking with a gray undertone. And then crinoline, which is one of my favorites. There's another white, tarnished pearl. Denise said my order is going to be here tomorrow. Very quick for me. Thanks so much. You're so welcome. I can't stand to wait either. Hey, Brenda, Brenda, I like how you added Brenda on the end of your name now. It said, would you consider having shipping options? I would rather wait than pay more for shipping. So I do, this is like the least amount for shipping, Jenny. So there is no cheaper. The, the price for shipping is based off the amount that you purchase. And that usually works out to what shipping costs are. So I'm not usually, if I like have any leftover that's going towards the shipping supplies, like the papers, the boxes, all of that stuff. But usually I am charging the cheapest that I can for shipping costs. The only one that I do flat rate shipping on is the salt wash like kits and then the 10 ounce like bottles. Um, 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 yeah, it's really confusing. And too, like when you put all the blues next to each other or the greens next to each other, I think it would just be nice to kind of see a comparison there. Yay, Denise. Okay, I'm going to, I'm a big believer of sample boards of colors. It's the one thing I take the time to do when I get new paint so I can glance quickly what I want to use instead of pondering all day. I like that idea, Sherry. 
Yeah, I think that would, yeah, that would help me too. You know what? Maybe we'll use like faded burlap on this one. Do you see that color? Instead of like a stark white, I think that would look good. Yeah, and I would like to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks wet versus what it looks like when it actually dries down. Because I think people that are new to DIY paints, you see the bottle, you see this container and you think that is what the color of the paint's gonna be. And when I first started using DIY paints, I was so confused and was like, this does not look like what's in here because it dries down so much lighter. So I wanted to do a comparison of that too. Just got done watching your wood video. Thank you. What colors do you think are a must have to start? Oh, I say crinoline just because I don't hardly ever use stark white. Crinoline, apothecary or farm fresh because I think they are just like a good everyday, like kind of green. I, I love those colors. I'm trying to like look over there. Or I could look over here. <laughs> Definitely crinoline. One of the apothecaries are farm fresh. And then I really have used cake batter a lot. So that's like a green, an everyday neutral. I would say those three. And then as far as, I don't know, I can't wait to use Bohemian Blue. And I am really loving that millinery, that French millinery. Uh, I don't know, Sabrisha. Probably either, um, is Duck Egg more of a blue? Maybe the Prong Queen? Or, I haven't opened this yet. Stars for now, Santa. Thank you, Rhonda. We just ordered, we just did another big giant order yesterday. Everything we made, we invested right back into the paint. So um, it should be hopefully a couple weeks. Could you, could use the small Dollar Tree tags to make swatches? Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's a good idea, Jenny. Jenny said also include lines of finishes on it, like the big top, how it looks with white wax. That's a great idea too. It's a greenish blue. So I believe the one with the green undertone, probably Farm Fresh. Anybody else have an opinion? A teal color, I need a tealish color. Farm Fresh is too country blue for my project. There is, old 57 and then there is which i actually where's that piece of wood i had some scrap wood that i painted on of course i can't find it now but there is i gotta look through these sea glass and mermaid tail where are you so there are these where's the lens there are these colors as well. So these are like some brighter blue teals. I tried mermaid tail the other night. I'll have to look for that piece of wood and show you. Hold on. Oh, it's right here. This is mermaid tail. So the old 57 is definitely super bright. This one is like a brighter teal. And then I have not tried sea glass yet. All right. What colors would you consider for French blues and greens? Uh, definitely the um, prom queen, 110%. And then um, for a green, I don't know that... Um, I really like Farm Fresh. I know I'm going to say that again, but if you want like a darker green, Aviary has been absolutely stunning. And I was surprised nobody bought it. Okay. I am just going to, you can still see this dip. Like, do you see that? Like it is hardly anything there. And then I'm going to go like this 
And I'm just, let me see if I can get it on the side. So this is just an alternative. If you don't have white wax, you can still come in and you can dry brush and it'll bring those details out. And I am basically wiping. Hi, Erin. I don't know if I said hi. Wiping all of it off. You just want a dusting of it. Yeah, aviary is pretty. And seriously, I think I have like five aviaries left. I was really shocked. All the other greens uh, completely sold out. No, wait. There's two Monet's Gardens left. But um, I was really shocked because a lot of the greens I hadn't even used yet to show you guys. I'm color and finish choosing challenge. So the more info I have, the better. I'm going to have to take the time to do that then. Because, of course, I want to sell my products. So it's like if I can sell them by doing a little bit more work so that people can understand it, I'm willing to do it. So that's what it's looking like dry brush. So it's a little bit more, I guess, rustic than doing a white wax finish because you can see the brush strokes on there with wax. You wouldn't see that so much because you could either buff it in or you could do clear wax and then wipe it back. So either way, you wouldn't get these brush strokes if you use the wax. Oh, Rhonda, I'm so sorry. Rhonda said she, it's a perfect week to get paints because I'm stuck home with COVID. Yes, Erin. And there were four colors I actually didn't get on the first release that I ordered, which is Salty Kiss, which is like an emerald green, Liquid Sunshine, which is a bright yellow, Fire Starter, which is a bright orange, and Layered Chocolate, which is a brown. So um, I'm really excited because now I officially have all the colors. Oh, did I not like that back? Because I went on a lot. So this is faded burlap and weathered wood. Mm, weathered wood, I believe, is the color she used first, if that's what you're asking. Oh, sorry. Okay, right now I'm using faded burlap. And I can't wait to use this color on something else because it's so pretty. All right, let's, can I, can I get down in here and you could go as heavy or as light as you want with the dry brush but dry brush should usually be a little lighter we're just trying to get like those details back out and luckily this was already textured the metal was so it's bringing some of that back out and we could put we could line it with gold if we wanted to we could just leave it as is Yeah, it goes a very long way. Like I said, when I first started, I just went through my first wax that I've had for over a year and a half. Just the little four ounce thing. I just finally went through it. And that Farm Fresh was one of the first paints that Bree sent my way. And I just, well, there's still some in there, but it's not as much as I need it to be, you know. We still do not have a baby Elaine. Oh my gosh. I bet she is like going crazy waiting. That's the whole, the waiting game. When is it coming? When is it coming? I'm glad I was induced with Montgomery. No waiting game. Hey, hey, hey. I went heavy right there. I don't like that. Seeing if I can left that out but I can't and then that's the other thing too if you choose to dry brush is that there's no going back with wax at least you can wipe something back so if I were to have cleared wax this and then white wax it and then that spot that I don't like I could have went back over it with clear wax and taken some of that off with paint 
what you get is what you see. There ain't going back over this. So good morning. Happy to be with you again. I missed Thursday, but watch the replay. Thank you, Tiffany. You sold me on the wax when you said that other waxes go fast. So actually cost more in the long run. That is very true. Yep. I still have, I don't like, I still haven't even put, and I use, I feel like I use dark wax quite a bit and look at, do you guys see that? It's like, I haven't even gotten halfway through that one. And I keep showing this one, but like, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to put it on everything. You know? You know, like when you get a new vacuum cleaner or a new broom or something, and you're like, the first thing you want to do is go home and vacuum every room because, you know, that's what cool adults do these days. Um, that's how I feel with this thing. Like, I just want to put it on everything. Uh, my baby. I'm trying to <laughs> decide if I want to put gold on it or if I just need to leave it as is. You guys know I'm extra. <laughs> I love the clear wax and decrepit dust. I do too, Tammy. Shipwrecked is my favorite. I'm excited to see that teal wax um, with pennies. Yes. Love. The wax is gorgeous over copper. Ooh, I have not tried that, Deborah. Denise, I love the white and black wax. It's amazing to work with. I couldn't agree more, girl. It is one of my favorites. Thank you. He is losing his winter coat and it is so gross, huh? Yes, I'm talking about you. Would you like to say hello? Are you gonna come over here? Of course, I'm wearing black pants. I didn't invite you on my lap though. Can you say hi? Yeah. Hello. Hello, you. You got boobies in your eyes. Hi. Are you mad because dad's outside and you're in here? Huh? Okay, now I need you to go. Okay, go. All right, yeah, well, I see you wagging your tail, but you need to go because you're just going to put hair all over. He has like chunks, you know, just the hair is everywhere. Don't come under the desk and rub your body against my leg. Can you go? See, you invite him over. And then he thinks it's cuddle time. And then he's like, mm, I'm just going to stay here and stink. I love Hank. All right, can he go? Now he just has his head underneath the table. All right. Oh, you stink. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hi, Diane. So this is the weathered wood with the faded. See, I don't like that pink. This is, dry brushing is not my jam. Oh, I guess we have to white wax or clear wax it. Hello, because I think I'm so used to using like white wax and then I'm like, okay, that's done. It's cleared. But that is not the case here. We have to clear wax this because DIY paint is water soluble. So you have to seal it some way or another, or it can be reactivated by water. Add the goal you know you want to. I do. Hi, Shanda. Yeah, he's stinky. He's laying right here. I'm like, do you have to? He's rolling around on something in the backyard. I don't know what it is, but where's my big top? I've been using my big top as my as my little clear wax topper here. We'll start on the base. And the other thing about DIY wax is that I think we all, and I'm not knocking Waverly whatsoever because I still think that their products are really good. I have them. I used them before I found DIY paint, so I'm not knocking them at all. I just, you know, we start off as crafters and you get whatever, you know, what, what people are using and you're trying this, you know, these things out. Like when I first started watching Thrift Lips and uh, that's where I saw the Waverly wax, the white and then the clear. So I got it and I'm trying it. I'm like, this is a mess. Cause it's liquid. It's almost like 
I feel like it should be called a glaze, not a wax. I feel like it should definitely be considered a glaze. Um, but, you know, you don't know any difference because that's what I saw other people using. So I'm using it. And then when I got introduced to this wax, I was like, oh, oh, okay. This is so much easier. It's less messy. And it's just a way easier application than the Waverly. It's just, yeah, I feel like it. they should be labeled glaze. Glaze. Oh, I got my wax going everywhere. And this is just a wax brush, top notch. I think I might have it in my Amazon cart. If not, I will check. But I just got it on Amazon. It came with this um, little one and then like a big wax brush. And it's been doing great. And I hardly lose any bristles on it. So, yeah, thin, more glaze-ish. Yeah. Uh, that's so true, but IOD is my jam now and DIY, of course, getting order from you Tuesday. Yay, Julie. I was so confused by that. Thought Antique Wax was the color name. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. What's good about the liquid wax is that you can add paint to make a color and you can do that with the clear wax, um, for DIY too but I can see it being easier with the liquid, you know, for sure. And then keep in mind when you are clearing your piece with the clear wax, it's going to dry down. So Nia let it like dry overnight and it'll dry back down. It's not gonna look exactly as light as you see it before you put the wax, but it is going to dry back down and it is going to have more of a matte finish versus the big top, which is going to give you a little bit of like a satiny finish. Elaine, I do have the green ones and then I'll check on these. I have the three pack of these in there and I'll check on these after um, I get off of here. Does the paint dry out? I have Waverly chalk and didn't use it for a while. So Helen, the, the DIY paints, they do start thickening up. Not much, but it's like on the lid. Like you'll see, like I said, like this farm fresh I've had forever and it's probably like right there. And then there's stuff on the top. I added water just the other day because I'm I did a video. So do you see that thickness up there? and it's in there, I can add water, shake it up, let it sit for like a day and then like stir it around and reactivate it and it'll be fine. Or I don't wanna do that because I actually wanna take all of this clay. I need to see how hard it is. I wanna take this clay, I wanna let it sit in water and then I wanna scrape it out and use it on um, some like salvaged pieces to make it look like thick chipped wood color but you can reactivate it but i will say um it takes a while for to get like this and obviously this is like an old over a year and a half container go back to where you need to be <clears throat> oh my gosh did you hear that that was the wind I am stocking brushes, Deborah. I already ordered them. They are on their way to me. I cannot wait to try them. My first time trying fancy brushes. So funny. Uh, but they're beautiful too. <laughs> they're just pretty. Let's be honest. They're pretty. Mm, did I miss? Sorry, Helen. Did you ask a question? Does the paint, oh, dry. Yeah. I have all the, oh, Dixie Bell. Okay, I was like, what is DB? I have all the Dixie Bell waxes. I need to try DIY wax with my next order. I did get clear patina to try. I do enjoy the uh, clear patina, the liquid patina. I've been using that a lot. Would putting saran wrap on top before, mm. I don't know, Rhonda. I've never tried that. I'm down to try it, though. I don't know. 
because I like the crusty. And ever since I started watching Debbie's design diary, I am like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I want to do the crusty things on this, on this, on this, on this. So good to know. It was only a few months before Waverly hardened up. I'm going to switch to DIY. I'm such a new me. Rather not waste the money. Yeah, I get what you're saying, girl. And I mean, I have a lot and I have learned with the Waverly paints. I keep them upside down. Don't know if that helps at all, but I keep them upside down when storing them because when they were the other way, they would start thickening up a lot. Okay, so we are done with this, but you know, I'm gonna go be extra. My poor baby. Montgomery, so I came back from California and I told you she threw up, she was sick, took her to the doctor. They said her ears were clear, her lungs were clear. It was just like a, a, a virus, you know, it'll pass. Then, My mom's got her though. Um, oh, why am I trying to open that? That's not the wax. And then, um, then this week she started having goopy eyes, runny nose, um, coughing and stuff like that. And again, took her in. She, they said her ears were clear, her lungs were clear, and that she just had a. Um, like a clog so that the discharge is like going in her eyes and her nose, but she doesn't have an ear infection. But then we took her home and she's been throwing up her bottle. She's still runny nose. Her eyes are still glazed over. And I'm like, there has to be more going on here than just like a common cold or like a common virus. Like she has literally been sick since I've been home from California. And I, I don't know. So I don't know if I need to go see another doctor or or what I need to do, because I feel like there's more going on there. Yes, I definitely will give you your my opinion on the brushes. I've only bought GB from local sellers, so I don't know if the paint is old or just normally thick. Ooh. I use the tray, sorry. I use that trick on Waverly and they seem to last longer. So Rhonda's talking about putting the plastic wrap, I think it was over like the lid and then closing it so it doesn't thicken up. I was waiting to place my order until the brushes come in. Are they on your website now? No, Shanda, I did order them, but I will not put them live until I physically have them in my hands because I wouldn't want you guys to order and have to wait to get them. I use Vaseline on my lids, Tammy. Anytime I open a new one, I put them on. I want to try all those brushes. I like the perfectionist. I don't know which one I'm gonna like because I've never tried them. So I'm excited. Okay, so if you guys know, I'm gonna add gold. I would add teal, but with this color, I don't think teal is really is really gonna go. Like what our pennies from heaven wouldn't go either. I mean, I just waxed it, so I can't even do pennies from heaven anymore. Is there more going on in your, I don't think so, Denise, because it started when I came back from California. So I don't know if I carried a bug home from like the plane because the only place that her and I ever go is the gym and there is a daycare there, but it started when I came home from California, like the night, like we took her out of the carrier after they picked me up and she threw up. And then while I was gone, they went to my son's football game. Um, Deanna Rose, which is like a um, petting zoo. So I don't, I don't know. Apotheke. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. I am, I use Vaseline. What do you think about Amazon brushes? Kathy, I have these, this set right here. And I, I've tried them a couple times in my videos and I actually think they're amazing. And it's $10 for a three pack. I thought that they're very smooth. They hardly leave brush strokes, if any at all. Ooh, have a, have the heavy helping of that. What's P and D can make babies throw up all the drainage and makes them feel full. What's P and D Sherry? Um, 
Sherry, the big top, we just placed another bulk order last night and it usually takes them two weeks to get here because they're shipping from California and it's such a big order. But if you can hold off, I will have it back in two weeks, two weeks time. Oh, post nasal drip. So post nasal nasal drip can make babies throw up all the drainage and makes them feel okay. That makes sense because it's like, well, you know, it was yesterday morning that I fed her her normal size bottle and she was drinking it. She was hungry. And then literally the entire bottle. Sorry, you guys, if this is like TMI, um, the entire bottle came up. So thank you for telling me that that's normal. Um, awesome. Shelly and Shelly said that she ordered the, the green brushes. I think you'll really like them. I'm not like a brush enthusiast. It's, I don't, you know, I don't know what <laughs> super good brushes are or anything, but I think they work great. Here I go. I went through a gold, this gold wax during Christmas time. I was all about it. And now it looks like I can't stop using it again, but yeah, that's all right. My kids were under allergy care and our doctor sent us there, made a huge, that's, you know, my husband is convinced that she has, um, allergies. So maybe we do need to take her in to, hi Ellen, to see about that. All right. We added this gold. I like gold. Hopefully we'll find something soon because I cannot stand that that little girl is in just uncomfortable. I like the gold wax. I bought it after I saw you use it. I love it. I take care of my three-year-old grandson, deal with all the icky stuff daily. Yup. Has hubby is sitting over here listening and is like, didn't you just get green brush to the mail? <laughs> He's like, stop watching her. She's making you buy crap. After this, I'll have to go back upstairs. She's having a, she's giving Grammy, Grandma a hard time. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, the gold wax I have, I still have in stock. I don't know if I should put it over, I mean, just kind of brush it over the little humps. Yeah. Why do I ask? You know, I'm going to probably do it. Just kind of, you guys can see, just almost like putting like whatever's like left on my finger over them. Because I feel like it would we be weird just doing it on the top. And then not carrying it down. Denise said, my son had allergy and asthma when he was young and he used to throw up the mucus all the time. Okay. We need to get her checked out. The gold wax with Monia's garden is gorgeous. And Deborah, the prairie gray. I used, those were my colors during Christmas. Was that prairie gray and Monet's garden with the gold. It was so beautiful. Bye, Elaine. I hope that baby comes soon for you. I keep feeling like, I'm like, did I start over here? Am I going over the same spots over and over? I don't think so. But I do need to buff that out. And again, it's a lot easier. Well, first you need to clear your piece either way with clear white wax or whatever you want to use. But I wouldn't suggest putting the gold wax down and then clearing because then you're just going to smear your gold. And if I go back and I'm like, ooh, I got it a little like right there, chunky there. I could take the clear wax and go back over it and kind of dull it down a little bit. Because 
there's some places that I'm getting heavy and I'm just trying to like buff it out if I get it like heavier. So you could see like right there, just buff it out with my finger. Oh, that's my belly. My belly's hungry since my husband didn't feed me. Hoping to package all of the rest of your guys' orders. And thank you guys too. For those of you that emailed me, like Rhonda, um, Terry did, um, and I forgot. Amy did about the paint that I had listed for $0. If you ever see any of that, please let me know. Most of the time I'm trying to do this like while the baby's sleeping or in between picking up kids or going to sports or, you know, so I'm going to maybe make mistakes and miss things in the future. So if you guys could be amazing people and have my back and let me know, I would so appreciate that. I was so sick to my stomach when I woke up and saw the email that I did that because John and I checked and we checked again. All right. I think that's good trying to see I don't like how bright that is so I'm gonna just buff that in and all of this again that's gonna dry down to be lighter and then you're gonna see that beautiful little detail of the gold come through I like it with the gold it looks like a little bit more regal I guess you can say all right. Bye, Lisa. And I do list whatever we make on the website for purchase. Uh, I cut palettes yesterday. Can't wait to put my resin pieces on it. Heck yes. <laughs> so right, Rhonda. I know the sheen is good, but it's not like too much. It's not like, oh my gosh, there's gold all over it. Like it's just, just enough, a nice subtle look. So there is our Sunday little flip. Sorry, it was not the rooster that I said in the description box, but um, we still got to use weathered wood, faded burlap, and then the gilded gold wax on this. Oh, and we used clear wax. So we got to use a little bit of everything. I don't know what this is supposed to be, Diane. I don't know. Okay. Looks like the baby's having a hard time. So I'm going to go up there, you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out Unicorn Dust Designs for all the paint products. And again, I am restocking. We just ordered. So it's just going to be a couple weeks if you don't see what you want. And then if you do see a color you want and you want to make um, an order that is a little larger, I can work out how to do like a drop ship option for you guys. So just let me know. Thank you all so much for the love and support. We'll be back here on Tuesday for a faux salvaged wood video, which I cannot wait to show you. And then uh, Thursday is Thrifted Thursday in our live, Saturday a video. You guys know the drill. So thank you all for being here with me. And I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous Sunday. Bye, guys.